It's time to rack up some points. We're going to tennis. So hello everybody. Welcome to the Let's Plays. Let's play the MJ's Let's Play Super Monkey Ball 2 with your host, the MJ406. And we're going to play tennis. We have tournament mode where you can play four games in a row and try to beat the computers. You have doubles mode where you can have four people play together. Or singles mode, which I'm going to do, which is one on one. And you need separate controllers for this one. So if you know how to play tennis, this shouldn't be too bad. You know what? I'll play with my girlfriend. You have three courses, they all have different characteristics. You have a clay surface, grass surface, and a hard surface. I guess we'll do this one because it's standard. Basically the ball will change differently based on the um Yeah. Alright. You have you can set the rules like regular tennis. You have one, three, or five sets. I guess I'll do three. You can set the calm level to whatever you want. And number of games required to win a set. This is basically how many games you need to win in a set to win the set. Although, if you're both at 1-1 one, one and somebody wins the second one, if the other person wins the second one, they're going to be a tie break. Which I better have just in case. And yeah. Welcome to the series of Super Monkey Ball 2 where I teach you guys how to play real sports using simulators. What? Apparently that's what I'm doing. Okay. Basics of this. You serve to where the computer is. You press B to hit a curve. A to top spin. Yeah, man, it's not nearly as complex as I thought it would be. And if you're getting the star, you can smash it. If they miss the ball, you get 15 points for some odd reason. I guess I'd have to look that up. I don't get how the scoring for tennis works. Oh, yes, if you hit it out of bounds in your opponent's court, they get the points. So make sure you aim properly. Oh, wow! That was terrible. If only I get backswing. Goes from 15 to 30. No. Oh, I hit it out again. And then it goes to 40. And then they get another point after that. They win the... They win the game. Keep doing that! And Mimi won the game. God damn it. You bitch! I hate you! Oh yeah, for some reason you have to change court after the game ends. Are you kidding me? I had that in the palm of my hand! Can you guys tell that I suck at this game? I rarely play the sports games on here. Ah! Smashes are probably the strongest weapon you have in tennis. Because they're the fastest balls that get hit. Damn it! And they can completely throw your opponent off guard. Although there's a lot of different strategies for if you do doubles compared to singles. Get that ball out of my court! Court dismissed! Take it! There we go, I'm doing better now. I just gotta learn to not hit it out of the court. Oh god, what was that? Sometimes they'll try to die for the ball. Hmm. How do you figure out what some of the other swings are? So I know there's. You can do lob shots and. Oh, okay. Y lets you check the score. Okay, X lets you lob. Oh god, that was a terrible idea. Okay, so A can be a. Whatever. Alright, if you both have 40, you have a deuce. Basically, first person get to be ahead by two more shots is the winner. Can you not do splits in this? Should be able to do splits. 
That'll make the game much more interesting. Damn it! Yeah, I guess you can't lob a lob shot. There we go. I tied it up. So it's one game to one. Take it. <laughs> oh, this is easy. Despite how simple the game looks, there's actually a lot of rules to it. You can't tell by the lines of the court. Damn it. I can't believe I let her have that. What she got was a return ace. She got a point on me right after she returned my serve. Haha! -ha! No! Get that crap out of here! I said get it out! Yeah! That's right! I'm gonna put you in your place! No! Get that out of here! Get that out of here! No! We don't want you here! Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, I'm beating Com Level 3 finally! Sweet! I now know what I'm doing! Oh no, I'm not! <laughs> And I got cocky like an idiot. Oh yes, I have the opportunity to go for a game point. However, as you saw for both the last games, break point is where you get the final point while your opponent serves. Game point is the final point you get to win if you're serving. They're just special names, they don't really mean anything more than the other, it's just you either beat your opponent's serve or your serve beat them. See, even though I won two games win the set, she has a chance to tie it up. So we have to go one more game. And apparently I still don't know to not hit it out. Damn you! Get that crap out of here! Get that crap out of here! Ah! Bill! Shit! Yeah, even though it's in that box, that's the line for... The inner line is the one that's out if you're doing singles. The outer one is the one that's out if you're doing doubles. So you have a wider range of play if you're doing double matches. No! Get that crap out of here! No! Stop this! What a smashing success! They get worse every time, I'm telling you. Ah! Fine. Oh, apparently I can lob her a lob shot, but not well. Take this. No. I wish there was more depth to this game. No, I don't I don't want to actually do a tiebreaker. Come on! That'd be too boring! And I let her have a service ace. Which you score on a serve. I'm an idiot. I can't believe I let that happen. If you both win the necessary games to win the set, there's a tiebreaker. Which has completely different rules. Well, not completely different, but somewhat. I don't know how the serving goes, but it switches up every now and then. No. 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 Damn it! Oh, she actually got one point. For some reason, the tiebreak scores make a lot more sense than the regulation scores. I guess the scores are like 15, 30, 40, and all that. They probably have to deal with the history of the game. I don't know. Screw you! I wish I could use my backswing. Am I, am I really going to lose a set? No. Why is she so good at this? No. You're not beating me. Apparently I'm beating myself. Oh my. Okay, I guess you switch every two serves. I think that's how it. 
That's three points I've given her on out! Damn it! Stop it! I suck at this game, apparently. No! Stop that! Get out of here! Get out of here! You can't tell, the best position for you to be in is probably the center of the court. Because that's where you can get the most... That's where you can get the majority of the balls that are hit your way. It's good to prepare yourself for any shot that will come at you. Could you stop hitting it up in the air? This is what you get for hitting it up in the air so much. I'm calling a comeback, bitch! And every six points that go through the tiebreak, you change court. You know, different court, different court view or whatever could change the advantage for people in some cases. Damn it! Makes it fair, pays the sun's in your eye or something like that. Alright, let's try this again. Stop that! Yes! Yeah, that... Again, the real game of tennis is probably more exciting than this. Ooh! Uh, and I ruined a great serve with a horrible attempt at a return. At first, the seven points wins the tiebreak. Unless, of course, you both have six. Then it keeps going until somebody gets two points ahead again. Give up! I may be down, but I'm not out. Set and no matter if you're serving or not serving, the point to win the set is the set point. <gasps> I'm an idiot! I just gave her the set. Winning that last game gets you the set. Since we're doing best out of three, the first person to two sets wins. I think I've shown enough of this. So yes, that's how tennis works. If I won the second set, we would go to a third. If she won the second set, the game would have been over. I'm tired of showing tennis, so let's move on to something different since I have time. Let's do something else that's pretty short. How do we do soccer? The sport's fun, but in this, not so much. There's also a tournament in this, but we're going to do exhibition. I believe this one's only two player. You have a choice of team. You have normal, which is good on defense and offense. Offensive, which is good on offense. Defense, which is purely defense. And handicap, which isn't really good on anything. Basically, handicap's the team you want to use if you feel like giving the person an advantage. So I'm going to go with normal and go against a normal. And I believe the one of the centers is your team captain. Or is it the goalie? I don't know. We'll do five minutes of play. If the game's tied, there'll be a penalty kick. The red team versus the green team. You can also check how to play if you need to know the controls, which I should probably use. You can change your strategy anytime. You can go from offensive, defensive, to balanced if you wish. Apparently A button shoots and B button passes, and you can tackle as well. Alright. Now you can tackle the ball away, but you don't want to hit the other players. Kicking in! Yeah! How does that work? Third balls! How does this work? Oh! You rolled and punched it with a ridiculous amount of force somehow. How did you do that? I passed it into the net, yeah! Apparently I'm really good at soccer. So yeah, pretty easy to figure out this game. Just get the ball in the net. 
pass it to your teammates so you can save our chance. Wow! Apparently the goalies really suck at this game. I'm surprised at how easy this is. Ball! Goal! Wow, this is going to be a slaughter. Oh, there are two halves to this game, apparently. Oh, my. I completely forgot about that. I wouldn't have made it five minutes if I knew it was going to be this long. Oh, yeah, the ball goes in the... Passing it, it goes in the direction you're tilting the control stick, so... The arrow kind of indicates where you're pointing. No! Go, baby! No, I had it! Oh, nobody's down there! Unfortunately, in this version of the game, you can cherry pick however much you want. They don't have anything to check that. They don't have referees or anything. Get the ball! Goal! Now you can score beyond the line if you wish. Oh my god, this is too easy! <laughs> Probably you can pass it along the wall to yourself if you wish, although that... Unless you come up with a weird-ass strategy, it's... A... Good job, Mimi. To Mimi. So it's not a shutout. Although I'm probably gonna end this soon because this is clearly one-sided. Damn, that goal is good now. And you can pass to the goalie, although that's not a very good idea. What? Oh, screw you. Don't do that! No! I almost passed it to the net again. I will take Mario Strikers over this any day. Alright, I'm pretty sure I'm going to win this game, so... Do I really want to show a penalty kick? You know what? Why not? Yeah, only, only up to two people can play this. Penalty kick, basically, if you have a tie score, this is the game you'll get. You'll have to go to a penalty kick. Whoever gets the most wins. Flip a coin, who goes first? Me! Okay. I'm pretty sure you just have to walk up to the ball and then aim the control stick as you walk up to the ball. You may also have to use a control stick to attempt to block. Yeah, you just use a control stick to run into it in this game. But yeah, basically, consider it a shootout. Wow, these computers suck. It's level 3 and I'm destroying them. Come on, we're both the same damn team. Damn it! Well, it's the best out of 5. So, I win. Whoever wins, whoever gets more kicks on the penalty kick wins. I think if you tie, you keep going until somebody gets the lead, officially. Yeah, we won! Oh my god! I'm so many people with that! Nope. Not really. We're gonna go with a sports prize to get a lot of these out of the way now. Alright, let's get billiards. This is honestly one of my favorites. This is a great party game. Billiards, you have a choice between four different games. The one that I think might be most common is 8-Ball, so I'll play that one. I'll face that gorilla, that damn dirty ape. You can get advice, but yeah, you know what, why not? Literally just one set, and I'll leave him at three. Which is the average level. Five is really difficult. 
Here, it gives you rules on how to play, basically. Shoot the ball and get it as close to the possible to cushion it your side. So basically, you want to shoot it so it's the closest one to the back. Well, as you can tell, I am barely closer to the back, so... I get the break shot. Shoot it hard so you can get in as many as possible. And you won't lose if you pocket the eight ball in this attempt. Basically, shoot the ball like hell and hope something goes in. Yay! Whatever ball you had more of? Oh no, on that it doesn't matter. Now you have the choice to hit any ball you want after the break shot. However, you don't sink any balls in into your opponent's turn. What I will do is try to sink this guy in that hole. This I I. Jeez, why do you all enjoy getting hit by me? Seriously. Yeah, what a shot! Now that I hit a stripe in, my party is stripes. So I have to hit all the stripes in. It doesn't matter what order I hit him in, I just have to hit a stripe. They kind of let you know which one you need to hit because they dance for you. Oh, but if you foul... If you foul, it's your opponent's turn and they get to place the ball wherever they choose. However, the balls you sink still count towards your total. I believe the Gon Gon AI is known for doing hard shots. He'll hit the ball as hard as he can to hope he gets a bounce in. Which is a very good strategy. You can also set your view if you wish. You can hold X to see the numbers of balls where they are. You can also press Y for an overhead view if you want to get a better angle. Thankfully the arrow lets you know where you're going to hit it. So if you want to find just the perfect angle to hit a ball, go to the top down view. For example, I have a good chance of getting the blue Mimi in there, but I can't really hit her. So I'll try to hit her from a different angle. Nope, not working out the way I was expecting. Okay. I guess forget I said anything. Then. Oh, wait. If you can angle it like this, maybe. You can also press Y to adjust from normal to hard. You can do hard if you're hoping for a bounce. Oh, yes, you don't want to sink the 8 ball yet. That's kind of the purpose of this game, and you'll see why. You dick! And he is to go for solids, because I'm going for stripes. Oh, no! As long as you get one of your balls in, you get to keep going. But if you get one of your opponents in, and not one of yours, you'll have to skip a turn. Damn it, he's on a roll now. Shoot! I'm not going to show off all the different kinds of billiards games, but... Yeah, there's a lot of different ways to play billiards. From what I know, 8-Ball happens to be one of the most popular. At least, the way I've played it, it has been. No way. I was going to say, there's no way in hell you're getting- <gasps> What?! You'll have different kind of unique shots, like Kiss Shot. If it bounces off another ball that's not yours, you'll get a Kiss Shot. See, the disadvantage of using a hard shot, you'll bounce all over the place, too. So you really want to make sure you get your shot right the first time. Okay. It's all about angles. That's all I can tell you. It's all about angles. You look like you're in a good position to get smacked. Damn it! I... Oh, and I went down the hole, too! Fine, I'll block off the one ball left that he needs to get. Aw, oh, you dick. Oh, yes! Good, it didn't go in. Sweet. Alright, I'll go for green then. Go! Beautiful. Aw, oh, shoot! Looks like I'll have to do something completely ridiculous. No, I pocketed his ball in. Shit. See, now that all of his solids are in, 
he gets a shot at the eight ball. Even though it's a solid, it's and you have to call where you're gonna hit it in. If you hit it in the wrong hole, you foul, I believe, or you lose. And if you foul when you're doing the eight ball shot, the eight ball gets to be put back. As you can see, he beat me. Yep, that's the way it goes. You have to sink your group faster. Didn't help that I was fouling. Oh well. I know I lose. You don't have to tell me twice. You do it for a number of sets, which, just like tennis, whoever wins the most out of those sets, wins. So if you win two out of three right off the bat, it's over. You don't even have to go into a third. They mention the rules of how to do it down here, too. You have rotation where you can have up to two people play, and you get points for each ball that you hit in. So you get 15 points for hitting the 15 number ball in, nine for the nine point ball, but I believe you have to, with the way most of them work, you have to hit the ball the lowest number first. In eight ball, it doesn't matter, but in rotation, I believe in all the others it does. Actually, rotation works like Japan 9 apparently, except Japan 9 uses nine balls and up to four people can play instead. In US nine ball, you basically go one through nine in order. Although the break shot doesn't matter, and if you hit a higher number ball, the lower number ball, you're allowed to do that. But you cannot hit your ball into a higher number ball. Alright, that's enough talking about that. Okay. Come back next time. We'll finish off the sports series of Super Monkey Ball 2's party games. I'm your host, MJ406. I'll see you guys next time we go play baseball! With monkeys. <laughs>